Hello and welcome to our third digital concert in this eighth season of Byron Schenkman and Friends. In this concert, we'll be featuring three instruments, the violin, the harpsichord, and the violoncello da spalla, which literally means cello of the shoulder. And that pretty much sums up what it is. It's a small five-string cello that instead of being played down between the legs is played up on the shoulder like a viola. Or you could think of it as like a really big viola that plays in the cello range. The violin and the harpsichord are very common instruments in Baroque music. The violoncello da spalla, not so much. In fact, I had never seen or heard one live until I started rehearsing with Andrew for this program. So we're all getting to enjoy this together for the first time. And I think Andrew makes a pretty convincing case for this instrument as a viable option for pieces like the Sonata by Antonio Vivaldi, which we will play for you now. Thank you. 
In each of our programs, I like to include at least one piece from the standard repertoire of the established canon of great works of Western European classical music. And then I like to put that music into some historical context, often considering what the influences were on the composers writing the music. The really famous piece on this program is the Partita in D minor by Johann Sebastian Bach, which Rachel will be playing later in the program. And there are two main influences on Bach in writing his partitas. One was the Italian violin music, especially of Antonio Vivaldi. And the other was the French harpsichord music being composed at the court of Louis XIV. For some of the best music from that repertoire, we can look outside the canon at the six harpsichord suites by Elisabeth Jacquet de la Guerre.
Thank you. 
Baroque suites and partitas are mostly made up of stylized dance movements. Sometimes, but not always, these dances are so stylized that it would be hard to recognize from the music what the dance was, let alone be able to dance to it. One of the most popular dances of the Baroque era was the Chacona or Chacon. And the Chacona actually had its origins in the indigenous music and dance of South America. It was appropriated by Spanish colonizers in the 16th century and brought to Europe where it became very popular. My guess is that the 18th century Chacons that we're playing bear little, if any, resemblance to what the Spaniards heard in South America in the 16th century. However, this music would not be possible if not for its indigenous origins.
I would like to take a moment to thank some of the people who make these concerts possible, including our wonderful video production team, staff, board, volunteers, and of course, donors. This season, all of our expenses have to be covered by grants and donations. So we need those donations more than ever before. If you would like to donate, it's easy to do on our website, byronandfriends.org. And you can also get the information there if you would prefer to donate by phone or by mail. I would also like to give very special thanks to our friends at Epiphany Parish Church for warmly welcoming us into this beautiful space. And now, on to the music of Johann Sebastian Bach.
The form of the famous Bach Chacon, which we just heard, is a set of variations on a recurring chord pattern known as a ground. In England, the word for variations on a ground was divisions. And what we're about to play now comes from a 17th century English book called The Division Violin, which is basically a how-to manual on making divisions on popular tunes. In this case, the tune is John Come Kiss Me Now. I will play a simple version of the tune, and then Rachel will jump in with some of the divisions. Andrew and I will keep the ground going and occasionally chime in with some responses to what Rachel's doing in her division making.
Thank you for joining us. If you've enjoyed this program, please help spread the word by letting your friends and family know that they can enjoy it as well anytime and anywhere in the world on the Byron Schechtman and Friends YouTube channel. I hope you'll join us again on February 21st when we premiere Piano Songs and Fantasies, in which I'll be joined by two of my favorite pianists, the fabulous Joseph Williams and William Chapman Nayaho. In the meantime, please take good care, stay safe, be kind, and enjoy.